Is that hippo juice? Yeah. Hippos eating grapes. Hmm. All right, I got them closed off so they're not way back over there on that far side over there so we won't really need the horses. We can just walk down here and probably bring them up here. Most time if they weigh on the other side or something, we have to we'll saddle up some horses and go get them. Just because I don't want to get in my 2,568 steps. <laughs> How many steps was taking today? I don't know. <laughs> Probably a lot more than that. Yeah, I don't know. I want to make sure my horse is getting in all the steps. Mm -hmm. We've been doing some cleaning up right here. We're fixing to put in a new fence right here and two new gates right there. So when we bring in cattle, we just got a little bit of cleaning up to do. Hey, Daddy, what's this? That's an auger. Oh. That's for digging holes, boy. Oh. Trying to be close. He said, I'll let you pet me badly. I know you ain't going to get you. Y'all were sitting out here at this little restaurant. We're on a little date here. Yeah, it's called the Attic. We've been it's here one other attic. time. It's a really, it's really a neat little place. They have a New York strip. They have a ribeye. Get me a ribeye. They have a hamburger steak. They also have pork chops. They have a lot of stuff here. Mediterranean chicken, simple pasta, seafood pasta, shrimp alfredo, stuffed trout, pecan crusted trout. Are we doing an appetizer or no? I got the Philly cheesesteak last time, didn't I? It yeah. was really good. The appetizers are spinach and artichoke dip, chips and white cheese. What about the fried green tomatoes? Yeah, we can do fried green tomatoes. Okay. We'll try the fried green tomatoes. I think we got those last time. They're Is good. good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do them again. Mozzarella sticks, coconut shrimp, chicken nacho, lobster meat with pimento cheese dip. And he also said tonight they have a smoked salmon dip. There's a lot of little stores up through there we've never been to. Of course, none of them are open right now, but. I think that art store is open there. Oh, yeah? But I'm just There's not... a candy shop. Where is that candy? Oh, it's right there, right across the street over there. Yeah. I don't know about art, you know? I don't know the people. They express their stuff in so many different ways. Right. It could be just like a whole bunch of paint just splattered on there, and I mean, it's what that person was feeling at that moment. Mm -hmm. A guy like me, I mean, you just got an old country cowboy kind of guy. I don't know what they're feeling like. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at it like, did somebody spill their paint? <laughs> I mean, he got a ribeye, I got a hamburger steak with sweet mashed potatoes. 
I'm in a tell y'all how it is, so if y'all come here, y'all might want to visit here. Right. We, we almost went to Paul's, and we've told y'all about Paul's before. i get down here and tell y'all, if you go to Paul's, they get dizzy where's the camera Friday. on this side? Where's the, where am I, I don't know. I've never learned where to look on this thing. Okay. Where, where should we be looking? I just keep oh. looking back and forth, back and forth. That way I can at if least look at them sometimes. Paul's, if you go to Paul's and Helen, they get dizzy. just get the steak. That's about just all they the That's all they got, really. I mean, their other stuff tastes like, um, it's, it's not terrible. Well, it just don't taste like it's something it's, that they should be charging you that kind of right. money for. Now, they've got a really good steak. A few things are sort of like, Almost like you, you cook them Ingles from your freezer and, and got, got it out of the freezer section. Freezer yeah. And no, like, it's not terrible, but it's, but they're green beans like you said, and it's steak. not worth the money they charge you Green for. beans and steak? Yeah, steak, the steak's better at Paul's than Cowboys and Angels. Yeah, it really is. Well, y'all, I'm going to tell you something about this. I remember the little bread they gave us. It's really good. You remember the little dressing? Yeah. Because <laughs> this is all we're getting. Fried green tomatoes. Boom boom sauce. Some people ain't never had a fried green tomato out there, and I'm going to show you what you do with it. They're not as good as homemade, but they are good. You just dip them right down in that sauce. Mm-hmm. I can tell this is going to be a good one. Last stop, Dunkin' Donuts. There's a slime, fluffy, poofy contest, putty contest, I said poofy, contest going on over here and they want me to be the judge of whose is the best. So Manly has the Cotton Clouds Raspberry Scented um, Puffy okay, Soft this. Compound. I won. You won. Uh, Jonah has the Shiny Fun Compound Dino Glitter Key Lime Scented. And Sissy has the Butter Swirl. Oh, Jonah's was called Dino Dot. Sissy's is Butter Swirl Buttery Compound. It's Rainbow Sherbet Scented. Okay. Okay, this one definitely <laughs> went stretch. <laughs> All right, y'all. It is now almost 4 o'clock on Saturday, and we're about to make a spicy ranch hash brown casserole to go with supper. So earlier today, I went to Aldi, and I got some pulled pork that I thought we would have for lunch, just some pulled pork sandwiches. But we had a lot of chicken left over from Zaxby's last night. That's what the kids ate for supper. And I think they must have gotten two family packs Jake went to get the chicken, and it looks like he got two of them because there was a lot of chicken left over. So that's what everybody ended up eating for lunch. And since we still have the pulled pork, we're gonna have pulled pork sandwiches for supper and the spicy ranch hash brown casserole. So I need to get the mayonnaise real quick. I have the hash browns in the microwave. I'm just defrosting them a little bit because they needed to be thawed for this recipe. I'm gonna put in this pack of ranch mix and one cup of mayonnaise. I'm using this really big bowl and I hope that it's going to be big enough. Now we're putting in one can of cream of chicken soup and one can of milk. Oh, wasn't that? That was wonderful. That was just wonderful. <laughs> so I also have some fun pumpkin things going on, but y'all will be seeing that in a video one day this week. I thought I was going to be able to get all of that done today, but that's not going to happen. It's taking a little longer than I thought and I'm missing a few things that I needed. I think that's gonna be good with the hash browns. I need to melt one stick of butter. We're definitely gonna have leftovers for lunch tomorrow from this because since the boys are going bowling, they're just gonna eat at the bowling alley. All right, we're putting in some peppercorn medley pepper. You can just use regular black pepper too. Crushed red pepper flakes. 
just a little tap of chili pepper. One tap of ground mustard. We'll stir all that in. And now we're gonna start adding the cheese. Um, I'm trying to decide. I have mozzarella and pepper jack. I have a couple of bags of mozzarella opened up. We're just gonna go ahead and dump those in. We need about at least two cups of cheese, two to three cups. Yeah, I think I'll do a mixture. I'll put some pepper jack in here, and then on the top, we'll put some more mozzarella and pepper jack on top, too. I've got the oven preheated to 375. Once we get this in the casserole dish and in the oven, it takes about 45 minutes. The pulled pork is already cooked because I got it, you know, already ready from Aldi. We just have to warm it up. Okay, we put in about half a cup of pepper jack with that mozzarella. Now, we'll stir in the hash browns. This is about 30 ounces of hash browns. I had a big four pound bag. I tried to just about half it. So there's, you know, somewhere around 30, 32 ounces of hash browns here. <laughs> Did I put the melted butter? No, I didn't. What? There's the melted butter. I took it out of the microwave and just sat it over to the side. We're gonna spray the casserole dish. Now we just put the cheese on top and it's ready to go in the oven for 45 minutes. Clean. We have, like I said, a lot of hash brown casserole left over, but it is very, very good. I think it's my favorite hash brown casserole. It has a lot of flavor. You know, some hash brown casseroles have like no flavor, like hardly any flavor at all. You have to add a lot of salt and pepper. Not with this one. Lots of flavor going on here. It's still warm, so I'm just gonna let it sit here and cool down while we go get an ice cream. <laughs> I'm not sure where we're going to get one from, but it'll be fine here till we get back, and then I'll put it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. 